Welcome into Duval Daily presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thank you so much for tuning in here Thursday, March 2nd. We've got some breaking news from ESPN's Adam Schefter. The Jaguars are now expected to place the franchise tag on tight end Evan Ingram. Ingram joined the team in 2022 as a free agent on a one-year deal. Had a career year with Trevor Lawrence throwing him the football, Doug Peterson dialing up the plays. And of course, Evan Ingram, he brought the intensity from day one, the moment he stepped on that practice field for the Jaguars, you could see a motivated guy, a guy that was going to give it his all, and it it paid dividends for him in 2022. It paid dividends for the Jaguars in 2022, and now the Jaguars, at the very least, will have Evan Ingram for the 2023 season, again, on an $11.35 million franchise tag. That will be how much Evan Ingram will get paid in 2023, and that will be his cap hit in 2023. So while the Jaguars could have agreed on a long-term deal prior to this point and still can agree on a long-term deal with Evan Ingram. Right now, heading into free agency, he's going to have an $11.35 million cap hit, which is a little bit larger than it would be if the Jaguars were able to agree on a long-term deal with him. But at this point, they didn't think they were going to get the job done on a long-term contract with Evan Ingram prior to the March 7th deadline. So they went ahead and placed the franchise tag on him. They will continue to negotiate with Evan Ingram. They did the same thing with Cam Robinson last year, placed the franchise tag on him, and then they were able to uh, lock him down on a deal just prior to the 2022 NFL draft. So I, I still think that there's a chance that this thing could could end up turning into a two, three year deal, maybe longer uh, for Evan Ingram and the Jaguars. And he certainly has earned it, I think, at this point in his career. Um, but great news for Trevor Lawrence, who gets another really, really effective weapon weapon back a guy who really improved his uh, drop rate last year was not really a, a an unreliable target at all. He turned into one of the more reliable targets on the Jaguars roster down the stretch. And I I think you project him to be that moving forward as well with his athleticism, with Trevor Lawrence's connection with him. And of course, Doug Peterson is going to keep dialing up plays to get him open down the field. So good news for the Jaguars. Obviously, you do want to lock him up long term. It'll help you in 2023 with the cap. It'll help you uh, make sure that you have a really talented tight end on your roster for for Trevor Lawrence to throw the football to. But that will do it for this quick update. Again, Evan Ingram is expected to receive the franchise tag from the Jacksonville Jaguars, according to ESPN's Adam Schefter. We will have more combine coverage coming up for you later today. Later this week, we'll be talking about the defensive linemen. We'll be talking about the edge players, the quarterbacks, all that fun stuff. Make sure to stay tuned. Hit that like and subscribe button here on YouTube. 